Yeah, so we have this fuzzy logic web application. It's uh, playing this uh, game for us. It's an ECG detection game. We have this project structure. It will be a Flask application eventually. So it says the label there suggests we're doing a waveform feature detection using AI, whatever AI, ML. So this uh, signal, ECG signal has abnormalities. We could add noise to it as well. We have the waveform JS. We try to do everything from like math uh, level from scratch for the waveform a generation is basic uh, math a uh, javascript uh, functions currently we're trying to add a noise to it so we essentially can uh, monitor how well the fuzzy logic analysis uh, algorithm is doing currently I just changed the threshold a bit threshold should be three point something uh, check no 1.3 uh, 0.3 something okay it was actually in the game logic that's why i can't find it right the threshold is 0.377 so i want to get rid of, we also don't like a uh, magic numbers I'm trying to get rid of any magic numbers so with 0.3 a uh, 0.365 this current algorithm is giving a perfect the uh, perfect results but we do not like perfect results. We we'll like for it to do mistakes. Yeah, it's always missing. Currently, if I change, make this number a bit higher. Uh, this is the threshold for the abnormality score that the fuzzy logic algorithm spits out. So fuzzy logic algorithm looking at the raw frequency, scaling it, a uh, positive peaks. I don't know why it's raw, it shouldn't be raw. It's just positive peaks because originally we yeah for whatever reason we were scaling them as well but we don't need to do that it's just the number of uh, positive and negative peaks let's check yeah the raw frequency is just frequency okay that makes sense because then you have a raw and scale that's fine so we have Four files we have uh, HTML to JavaScript, uh, the waveform JavaScript that actually generating the waveforms, the game logic. So before anyone is complaining about uh, not being able to win the robot in uh, detecting labeling abnormal ECG, just uh, keep in mind that the robot is not cheating. It is uh, just seeing the raw data so just seeing the waveform nothing else it's making this decision it's currently set on purpose to always make a mistake to miss well because of that threshold yeah made made a miss we can quickly fix that by adjusting this threshold uh, back to 0.365 then it will never make uh, mistakes again but we actually want to get rid of it is the abnormality membership function being used can we make sure we use the abnormality membership function in the back end and in the back end make a decision as to yes no if the signal is abnormal or not i think we're already doing some of it but it's not uh, being implemented uh, correctly throughout the code as in we made changes to the python code but uh, uh, from memory still need to change the javascript uh, we have uh, three levels to it but um, obviously for a yes no decision 
So it's essentially a yes, no, maybe. Well, where's the membership function for abnormality? It's mentioned 38 times. Oh, that's the main thing. Yes, we have abnormality. It's very convoluted language, isn't it? It's like a double uh, negative or something. Because we're saying uh, it should be normal, no, like normality. And if it's, uh, oof, if it's uh, likely, then it's normal. Then it's, if it's unlikely, it's abnormal. And in this case, we have the measure for abnormality. So if it's likely or possible, essentially suggest that the signal, the ECG waveform is not normal. And those are the thresholds, except they would not work for the current code because the lowest it goes to is that magic number of uh, 0.365 that's uh, not cool is it so do you think the bot can solve this for us yes yeah, so we don't want to do it at the front end we want uh, the back end to return the abnormality score but also essentially return the decision make a decision normal abnormal and then we calculate the score currently we use the magic number uh, threshold which is okay but uh, not ideal uh, especially if we're trying to uh, use fuzzy logic correctly we should be everything should be in the form of this uh, membership functions you can go uh, look them up there should be a lot of content on explaining fuzzy logic the basics of it so to fully integrate this in your system you will want to make a decision in back end that's what we are doing already so in the three items that you suggested a couple of things yes we do want to make the decision in the back end but we don't want to use a threshold we want to use the membership function now the second item yes we want to modify we want to send the decision as well as the abnormality score to the front end and we want the decision the yes no normal slash abnormal to be used to calculate the score okay so so you have all the code that we have so far are you going to modify the script or generate prompts for github copilot to use another um, problem is the current a uh, membership functions for abnormality has a 0 0.3 threshold for abnormality to be unlikely the fuzzy logic algorithm returns 0 0.31 for normal ECG waveform and uh, let's double check that so it returns okay 0 0.56 what no it's doing like 0.56 all the time so 0.9 for this one so it's highly abnormal yeah there's something wrong right 0.37 and 0.36 yeah 0.36 yeah 0.37 for this like essentially slightly abnormal 0.37 for this one that's okay and 0.36049 a for normal a waveform fuzzy logic rhythm no fuzzy logic algorithm <laughs> that's what i'm struggling with the transcription thing it can never get uh, what i say correctly unless i speak like this but slowly but even then a certain 
terminology it gets uh, incorrect it's late that those uh, live streams get transcribed by youtube using the google api i would imagine i have to go and manually correct the text which is not fun and the decision is normal if highest membership equal unlikely else abnormal okay that's fine okay this uh, so we're displaying decision on the front panel normal or abnormal now in javascript we haven't gotten read of uh, this line and in python code we need to adjust the membership function so that uh, the magic number is within the normal range okay let's actually try doing something ourselves what about the bot no we will use the bot so we want to generate this function um, it should give me regenerate okay it's actually getting it let's see and uh, no github copilot is uh, no good what if we select the whole code when they uh, have 281 lines of code regenerate the update fuzzy score nope yeah didn't have the context close it for now this does sound correct so instead of relying on that the function we want to rely on normal of normal just comment it out for a sec a copy it again now we also right in your python app.py file you need to treat the abnormality membership functions so that a score like 0 0.36043 falls under the normal category here's an example of how you can adjust the membership functions yeah there's a problem with that is that the first a uh, abnormal like the lowest abnormality score for abnormal is very close the lowest uh, score for an abnormal ecg waveform is just above um, this number which is a problem because 0.5 will be too high so 0 0.5 is way too high okay this might be better there will be overlapping like the yeah because it's a triangular uh, shape we're not plotting it at the moment but uh, probably should that will require more work don't want it we might later do like a general uh, so we'll have a new tool it will be the ecg bot the cardio quest bot or give it another name if you have any better name suggestions please do let me know um but uh, and then later we might do a more simple fuzzy fuzzy logic tool scores up to 0 0.36 are considered unlikely normal scores just above 0 0.36 start entering the possible category and Scores from around 0.44 onwards are firmly in the likely abnormal category. This adjustment should align the fuzzy logic analysis more closely with your expectations for classifying normal and abnormal ECG waveforms. Remember, these values are just a starting point. You may need to fine tune them further based on your test results and specific requirements. Yes, yeah, so in the beginning, it's still adjusting its uh, thresholds, so it's making mistakes. So it's went to, yeah, minus uh, 60 score. Uh, the human one said not to go below minus 50 might change it you can go negative it's fine i think how the fuzzy logic score is calculated yeah we need to adjust this score so normal is still generating 0.4 now i don't know why it's like getting better over time there's some uh, thresholds that need the uh, adjustment that are adjusting uh, as um, like as we go okay so so I need to adjust how the score is being calculated score go from html quickly i ah, know it's actually in 
yeah, you can select it. It's not actually text. It's being overlaid there. Let's go to fuzzy score. Okay, it's based on the decision and waveform type. There's something wrong here. I suspect it should be reversed. It seem to be the fuzzy score seem to be going in reverse. Can you double check the code you generated? The decision abnormal and waveform type. So zero is normal, one is abnormal. Yes. Okay, why the score is not going anywhere now? Score is not going anywhere. There's some silly mistake. Okay, this should stick. Okay, why doesn't it? My GitHub Copilot is not working. It's not completing the code. Should be taking. Oops. That's then why GitHub Copilot is funny like that. Taking decision. Okay, so that was wrong. It's a false alarm. It's abnormal. It's essentially saying yes to anything, clicking on anything. Should become better over time. So for normal ECG, currently it gives a 0.4, but it's actually later goes down to 0.36. Continuously chatting to oneself or to an eye model like GitHub Copilot is a bit unconventional. But I understand the context here is to brainstorm or debug an issue with the code. Regarding your problem where a normal ECG waveform is generating different abnormality scores each time, there are a few areas we can look into. If the input ECG waveform data varies even slightly each time, it could lead to different fuzzy logic analysis results. Ensure that the ECG data being passed for analysis is consistent for what you define as a normal waveform. The use of global min and max values for frequency, peaks, and amplitude might introduce variability. These values are used to normalize the input data, and if they change due to new max or min values being encountered in the data, this can affect the scaled values fed into the fuzzy logic system, leading to different abnormality scores. To address this, you might consider using fixed thresholds for normalization, based on the expected range of values in a standard ECG, rather than dynamically updating them. The way the membership functions are defined can significantly impact the classification. Given your example data, the scaled frequency of 0.6 is classified as normal in your system, but the combination of other parameters, positive peaks, negative peaks, normalized amplitude, might be pushing the final abnormality score into the abnormal range. It might be beneficial to review and possibly adjust the membership functions or the rules in your fuzzy logic system to better align with what you expect for a normal ECG waveform. Ensure that the fuzzy logic system is stable and produces consistent outputs for the same inputs. This can be tested by feeding the same data multiple times and checking if the output, abnormality score, remains consistent. Rigorous testing with a variety of ECG waveform data, both normal and abnormal, is crucial. Log the inputs and outputs to understand how the system is behaving and where it might be deviating from expected results. One approach could be to recalibrate your normalization process and review your fuzzy logic rules. Here's a pseudocode outline to guide this process. This approach focuses on reducing variability introduced by dynamic thresholds and aligning the fuzzy logic system more closely with clinical standards. Remember, fine-tuning a system like this can be iterative and may require several adjustments based on testing results.